she cursed the town and vowed to return on the anniversary of her death. Welcome to Friday Night Ghost Frights. A series of real, true encounters with the paranormal and the supernatural. Ghost tales that will frighten you in the depths of the night. Some say the cemeteries aren't haunted, that spirits don't linger near their bodies, but I disagree. Some may not believe the things I'm about to describe, but I assure you, everything I'm about to tell you is absolutely true. It is up to you, dear viewer, as to whether you believe me or not. The legend of the St. Omer Witch near Ashmore, Illinois has perpetuated because of an unusual date on her headstone. It has been said that Carolyn Barnes was hung by the townspeople of St. Omer, and in her final words, she cursed the town and vowed to return on the anniversary of her death. To trick the curse, the date of February 31st, 1882 was inscribed on her headstone, a date that could never be possible. Some say that the large globe that adorns her monument is actually a crystal ball that glows in the moonlight. To this day, there are candle ceremonies and offerings that are conducted at the monument. In reality though, there are no facts that Carolyn Barnes was ever actually a witch. Her husband Marcus died in a sawmill accident in December 1881, and a few months later, Carolyn passed away due to pneumonia either February 26th or February 28th. The date is a bit uncertain. There are documents supporting both death dates. The February 31st designation remains a mystery, and the town of St. Omer disappeared shortly thereafter. What is true of the St. Omer Cemetery is the palpable energy there. Not from the grave of Carolyn Barnes, but from the graves of the many children that are there. Likely passing due to some sort of epidemic or perhaps a harsh winter, their energy certainly lingers. During a recent visit of St. Omer's, Shauna became very upset walking amongst the headstones and explains her experience there. For good luck or maybe to ward off the, uh, the witch maybe? Yeah. What's that? Is there a chain? Who's the family? Oh. Mary Childress, George Childress. Babies. But yes, babies. Oh, it's all the babies. All the same last name. They're all the same family. emotional charge as the other one but there's well no the other one you're saying you're getting emotional charge of all the children yeah, not even the witch part it was the children right between the tree and I guess a headstone and you were because I was right here yeah you were you were over there yeah whenever I came I came through here I stopped here to take a picture like this and then I just went you went over there right up here all right, but I saw somebody walking between here. We may never learn the mystery behind the February 31st date of the Carolyn Barnes headstone, and we may never learn what truly happened to the children of St. Omer's. But these things only add to the mystique of an old ghost town. Thank you for watching Friday Night Ghost Rites. Please let us know what you think of our show in the comments below. And if you have not yet, please subscribe. I'm Mike Ricksecker. Till next Friday night.